what do I have in the sub funnel now? What I have in the sub funnel is my neutral component in ethyl acetate. So we haven't done any reaction on the neutral component. Neutral component is just dissolved in ethyl acetate and staying there. Only thing that we want to be concerned about is that this solution may be wet because we treated it with aqueous reagent. So we want to dry it. Also, you may want to wash this layer with a little bit of distilled water to ensure that you know all of the conjugate base of the acid that reacted or the acid that reacted with sodium hydroxide has been washed out so we will take 10 milliliters of distilled water in the graduate cylinder that is labeled water and pour this distilled water onto the sub funnel we will again rinse it well to ensure thorough washing One more time of nice shaking. Open the stock cock, close it, and put it back on. And again, every time you remove the stopper, this has to be rinsed. So, by now, you all know how to rinse the stopper using a little bit of the organic solvent. Now, the aqueous layer is always going to be the bottom layer in this particular experiment. That is because ethyl acetate is lighter than water. Again, it depends on which solvent you are using. So, for the solvent that we are using, which is ethyl acetate, the top layer is going to be the organic and the bottom layer is going to be the aqueous. What do I have in this bottom aqueous layer? I just washed it with water. So, whatever that is going to be in the aqueous layer probably will be just a little bit of diluted version of what we collected in this aqueous flask or the conjugate base of our acid. So, why not collect this aqueous layer in the same container because this is not going to extract any of the neutral organic compound. So, that's what we are going to do actually. Combine this water washing with the aqueous layers that you collected in the previous two extractions. So let us drain it. Okay. And now I have ensured that I have taken or collected as much of the conjugate base of the acid as possible. Again, always just leave a waste beaker under the separatory funnel. So as we were discussing, the only contaminant that could be present now in this organic layer that has our neutral component is just water. This organic layer could be little wet because we did the extraction with aqueous reagent. So, how do we get rid of this moisture that is associated with the organic layer? We are going to do two types of drying. First, we are going to do the extraction with saturated sodium chloride solution. So, we will take 15 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution using the graduate cylinder that I had labeled sodium chloride why are we using saturated sodium chloride solution 
remember that saturated sodium chloride solution also called brine is very thirsty in other words it wants water so when you extract your organic solution with this saturated sodium chloride solution any moisture that's associated with the organic layer will be taken up by this saturated sodium chloride solution so that is what we are going to do again 15 milliliters is approximate anything between 13 and 17 is okay so i have taken 15 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride let us pour this 15 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution into the separatory funnel. Put the stopper back on. Take the set funnel out. Release the pressure. Shake. Release the pressure. Continue as we did before with our previous extractions. By now you are all experts in using the set funnel. 